So now we've got his full rules, let's take a look at the other options for the Master of Sanctity. Hello and welcome back to Auspets Tactics, the strategy focused 40k channel, where we've been looking at the new rules available to the Space Marines that have come out in Faith and Fury in the recent couple of weeks. Today we're going to take another look at the Master of Sanctity. I already briefly covered the stratagem when they rumoured it in the Warhammer Community Preview, but now we have his Warlord Traits and Relics, so I thought we'd spend a few minutes just taking another quick look at his options. Without further ado, let's take a look at his rules. So, as with all the other Psychic Awakening Masters of the Chapter, before the battle you can pay 1 command points to upgrade your Chaplain to the Master of Sanctity, the Chief Chaplain of your chapter. You can only do it once per battle, and you can't have more than one Master of Sanctity in an army. This one command point investment allows him to know another listener, and to recite two listeners at the start of each battle round. Now, as we said in the last video, this is an insanely powerful buff to Chaplains. If you are taking him mainly to recite a listener, then he now gets twice as much value, as you can say, put a 2 up to hit and plus 1 to wound on the same unit, or perhaps buff the unit's combat prowess and also give them that plus 2 to charge. There's a lot of nasty combos that you can use, particularly in combination with those chapter specific litanies that have been released, particularly that White Scars one, and all of the Black Templars new litanies and relics that they can give their chaplain, such as the one that lets them reroll failed litanies. This is a very, very solid upgrade, and frankly, if I was running a chaplain, I think I would use this every single game to give him two listeners. So let's take a look at the warlord traits and relics that he can also gain, and are unique to Masters of Sanctity only. First we have Wise Orator. This is almost as good as the Black Templar specific one. This allows you to re-roll the dice for when you're deciding whether or not a listener is inspiring. So this means that you now have two listeners going off on a 3-up re-rolling, that equates to roughly 8 out of every 9 times. One of the main disadvantages of chaplains is that they're somewhat unreliable. That litany will only go off 2 out of every 3 turns and you might wind up burning command points to keep him reliable. Far better to burn the 1 command point before the game and have both of his litanies essentially get a free command point re-roll if they need it every single turn. This is a very very solid pick and certainly in contention for the choice of the extra warlord traits you would get from hero of the chapter, or potentially just to be your warlord in general. A great warlord trait. Secondly, we have Bellowing Firebrand. This adds 3 inches to the range of the warlord's spiritual leader ability. That's the one where he gives a higher leadership to space marine units, usually within 6 inches, so we'll have a 9 inch aura for that. It also increases the range of his litanies by 3 inches, so typically to 9 inches. This could potentially be powerful if you're activating a powerful effect across a large swath of your army. It could mean that you get those re-rolls to hit in close combat for multiple units even though they're up to 18 inches apart. By making his aura quite so large, it really helps with the positioning of key units in assault and means that any units that he's supporting might not have to chain out quite so much to get back to his aura if the chaplain doesn't make the charge himself. So another decent pick but I don't think it quite compares with the first one. Making those litanies super reliable is just amazing. Now we come on to his two unique relics. The first is the Sacrosanct Rosarius. This upgrades your Rosarius' invulnerable save to a 3-up. That's really quite a strong upgrade to be honest. Going from a 4-up to a 3-up invul will reduce any incoming damage by one third, presuming the damage had at least an AP characteristic of minus one or better. So that's a solid defensive buff on your chaplain. It does of course compete against the already very good Benediction of Fury Relic Crozius that he can get from the main Space Marines Codex, and that is an absolutely outstanding relic. So I think typically I'd prefer to have the boosted melee damage output compared with the slightly boosted defense, but your mileage might vary, and keeping an important buffing character alive for an extra turn could well be worth that extra investment. Finally, we have the Emperor's Judgment, which is an interesting and slightly strange little relic. Basically, when resolving an attack against a model with this relic, your opponent can't re-roll the hit, wound, or damage roll. And if they take any morale tests within 6 inches of the chaplain, they must roll 2 dice and discard the lowest. I feel that 
prohibiting rerolls could potentially hamper the opponent's attack, but if they do hit the chaplain with any sort of just normal unit, this of course won't have any effect. The morale shenanigans is interesting as well. On average, this should amount to about an extra one point of morale rolled higher, so it gives you that small extra chance of failing a morale test. I think it could be stacked with some of the other options. Space Marines do have a few ways to monkey with morale, so you could potentially combine it as part of some sort of big leadership debuffing synergy. But to be honest, the 6-inch range is a little bit unhelpful. Personally, I don't think I'd take this relic. It's a bit of a funny one. I think if I wanted the extra defense, I'd just go for that Sacrosanct of Azarius. And as I said, I think I still prefer the boosted damage output of the Crozius to that. So overall, I think that the Master of Sanctity is an absolutely bloodthirsty little pick and a great addition to the Space Marine's arsenal. The combination of knowing two litanies and being able to re-roll the dice for those litanies is incredibly powerful and to my mind over doubles his output as a buffing character. I'll certainly be considering using that buffed up Master of Sanctity in my lists going forward. It just seems like a very good return on just two command points. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. There's quite a lot of litanies available to us now, what with all of these new chapter specific ones, and the Black Templars having access to a full 12 optional listeners. As always, thank you very much for listening to All Specs Tactics. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more 40k tactics and Space Marine content over the next few weeks. And feel free to support me on Patreon if you'd like to help out the channel. Thanks very much for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.